If you're gonna be visiting Florida or you're a resident and you plan on targeting peacock bass, this video is for you because I'm gonna reveal my top three lures that I use personally and on all of my fishing charters to target peacock bass and catch them year round. All right, what's up? Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. So let's just get right into it. Here's my top three lures that I personally use when I'm targeting peacock bass, and they work year round. You will catch them from January to December, except maybe when it gets a little extra cold, that pretty much just shuts peacock down in general. But all of these lures, you can catch peacock bass year round, no matter what. So without further ado, let's get into the first lure. So for my number one lure, if you limited me to only choose one lure that I had to throw for the rest of my life for peacock bass, it is going to be the Rapala X-Wrap. Now this one in particular is the three and one eighth ounce length. That's what I like the most. Every peacock bass under the sun is gonna hit this thing whatsoever. Now if you're in an area where you see some bigger peacock bass, like if you've got that clear water and you can see down and see some giants, you can step up to the four inch, those work really well. But for the most part, this three and one ace, this is the best size absolutely hands down to target all peacock bass. Now I could have just said you could use a jerk bait in general, but I specifically like the X wraps because these are extra, extra durable and peacock bass are so aggressive. They fight so hard that they destroy lures. And these X wraps for me at least, they pass the test of time. They hold up pretty great. You may have to upgrade the hooks at some point, but other than that, these baits, they take a beating from these fish and just keep on going. Now the retrieve I like to use, pretty much depends on the fish. I pretty much like to do a pretty erratic motion, but sometimes if the fish are taking a little bit longer to come out of the cover, I'll add a few pauses in there. They will hit it on the pause, but for the most part, peacocks, they like that fast erratic retrieve and your rod's gonna stay bent. In terms of colors, well, I like to actually keep it very simple for all of the lures. I pretty much match the forage that's in my local waters. You know, I've been fishing a lot of Everglades, so this crazy color right here matches a lot of the cichlids that we find that have just been released through the aquarium trade into the Everglades, and uh, this works great. Of course, whites, very natural colors like greens work really well, but I always like to have one backup just in case the peacocks are acting a little funky and that's going to be just a super obnoxious color sometimes this is what it takes to get those bites and do what you got to do now sometimes you'll find the peacocks holding a little bit deeper so you will want to pick up that three and one eighths deep diver see how it has that extra long bill there that's going to get it down in case the peacocks are just holding a little deep they're not quite on those edges around the bank and that's going to pick up those stragglers that you couldn't see Okay, so for my second lure, I'm sure a lot of you guys who know me are surprised it wasn't a topwater that I picked for my first lure. Well, hate to say it, but it wasn't a topwater. But number two is, and no surprise for those of you that follow me, that's going to be the Whopper Plopper, specifically the 90 size. Now, Peacock Bass, they'll hit a 110, they'll hit the 60, they'll even hit the 130, the big one, but that 90, this particular plopper just makes the right pitch plop as you're retrieving it. And you can retrieve this fairly fast without it spinning and doing barrel rolls in the water. So your hookup ratio is gonna be pretty good from the bait running true. And the 90 is just the perfect size. Peacock bass don't have the largest mouth. That's why I like the smaller jerk bait. That's why I like this 90 size. And of course, you Northern anglers, you can load up on the 90s, come down to Florida, catch a bunch of peacock bass, turn and burn back up north and catch a bunch of those river smallies. Whew, they love the 92. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's a smallie. A good one. So in terms of colors, white, black, the mullet color, the Pac-Man color. You don't have to go too obnoxious because this is gonna be a reaction bait. They're not so much keyed in on what the bait looks like. All they know is that this bait was in their area of awareness and it's leaving, so they gotta eat it. So 
So last but not least, number three. And if you guys are peacock anglers, you gotta have these in your tackle box. They're available in every single tackle shop down here in Southeast Florida. And that is going to be a hair jig. Now, this one in particular is made by a company called Gulfstream Lures, and they named this the Peahawk. It's the perfect peacock size. I mean, this is just a nice little morsel for those things to eat. Believe it or not, these are super effective. If you get a little bit heavier one, like the half ounce, cast it out and do a quick erratic retrieve, sometimes these will work better, a lot better than live bait, believe it or not. I've had quite a few instances where that was definitely the case, specifically with a great couple, Andrew and Uni. Andrew was throwing a white Berkeley bucktail jig and was absolutely smacking them. His wife Uni was tossing live bait, but for every one fish Uni would catch, Andrew would catch like seven. The, it, the difference was insane, so I had to load up the tackle box, of course. And then naturally, you can catch them on nests if you're in a weird transitional period where they're not quite feeding, but you see those fish starting to move shallow and kind of guard areas, you know, this might be your only choice, but that's definitely number three. Don't leave home without it when you're going peacock bass fishing. So in terms of weight with the jigs, I like to start out with a quarter ounce. Of course, that's gonna be shallow fishing if you're pitching them onto those nests. And then if they're a little bit deeper, the three eighths works really well. And then the turn and burn cast where you're casting as far as you can, half ounce is gonna be the go-to there. And then sometimes those deeper spots, you may need a half ounce if you're pitching them super deep, especially if there's big clear ledges down in Miami and you can see the fish those work really well but aside from that you shouldn't need anything greater than a half ounce for those flare hawks another company that makes great peacock jigs is also first light tackle as well they've got the peacock sizes in all the weights as well quarter three eighths and half ounce and as i said earlier those hair jigs you're going to find those in every tackle shop in southeast florida so you can just come down load up hit the canals and you're going to be whacking them that rounds up my top three lures to catch peacocks. Those three are all you need if you wanna come down here or if you live here and catch some peacock bass. Those are gonna do it. That's pretty much all you need. But I do have a few bonus lures that we'll go over right now. So of course, we'll start off with top water and that is gonna be probably one of the most classic top water lures in existence. And that's the Rebel Jumping Minnow. Of course, you want to go with the smaller size and the action on these things, second to none. Now, I like the Whopper Plopper more because you can cover a lot more water. It's just cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve with the Whopper Plopper. You're going to find fish pretty quick with it. But, you know, if you're on fish, sometimes this erratic, crazy action, especially if you run into a school, oh man, it's going to be lights out. This, when you retrieve this, it just looks like a bait fish running for its life. Of course, you wanna upgrade the stock hooks big time, but amazing, amazing lure. Any color is gonna work with this. Next bonus lure on the list is another top water, and you guys, you guys gotta keep this on the down low because this is a great bait. And it's actually, if we're being honest with each other, it's slowly replacing the Whopper Plopper for me personally, and that is the Ozuri Prop Bait. So when I first saw this lure, instantly what came to mind is Amazon peacock bass fishing where they're ripping those, wa those wood choppers. And that's essentially how you fish this thing. You cast it out and shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, you got, you're on, dude. He's a nice one. Oh, he's a... <laughs> I don't know what it is about this, but the peacock bass can't stand it. And they will smash this thing. Now, a few drawbacks with this. Well, there's really only one, and that's the propeller on the back. It is plastic, so it's a little fragile, but it is held in with a screw. So as you can see here, you can basically unscrew this thing and you gotta watch out for that when you're fishing because this will start to back out. So you can use a little bit of Loctite, but just keep an eye on it and uh, keep that propeller in there. But otherwise, amazing bait. Shh. 
keep that on the down low, guys. All right, so I have two bonus lures left, and of course, you know, the rattle trap, guys. And just so happens to be another Yozuri. The Yozuris make really durable baits. That's why I personally recommend these or even the live target rattle traps. Um, those two are my go-to for peacock bass fishing. You know, super fast retrieve, give it some jigs. You can even pitch these on nests if you really want to, but you know, for something that where you're just burning the bank looking for fish, the rattle trap is gonna be it. You can just swim it so fast and then before you know it, you're burning it back in and your rod's doubled over. Uh, great, great lure to find fish. And my last bonus lure of the video. Now this one is a little bit bougie, but it works really well. I highly recommend throwing this in the fall. That's the Mike Buka Baby Bull Shad. So fall time fishing or anywhere where you've got a lot of shad, you know, you can throw this in the Ida Osborne chain up there and you're gonna catch a ton of fish. Now I personally throw this in the fall. I'll be pitching it under docks and just swim it back to the boat. And I mean, the fish will follow it 60, 80 feet out of the dock and they'll smash it right next to the boat. And it just works so well. Of course, early spring too, right before the spawn when these fish are feeding up, that's when you're really gonna find this to be effective as well. But that fall fishing, it's just lights out with this thing. Oh man, good one, good one, good one. I need the net for this. Oh man, come on dude, just jump in the net. This little guy right here catches that big monster peacock so definitely give it a shot but that wraps it up my top three lures again the jerk bait whopper plopper and a hair jig those are gonna be your go-to's and then of course all those bonus lures are just a little icing on top but thank you so much for watching this video if you guys want to see more I'll have a lot more peacock bass fishing tips for you coming up in the future so hit that subscribe button if you're interested in booking a trip boom head over there to flowbass.com you can hit me up on Instagram Facebook. I'll be happy to chat you up, answer any questions you have, and be more than happy to put you on some fish. So thanks for so much for tuning in. I'll see you in that next video. Peace out.